everyone, Sarah Grace here, and today I want to go over the five best warm ups. So, number one, we're going to be doing the Spider Man stretch with the trunk rotation. The idea with the Spider Man stretch is you're in that deep lunge position and you want the leg that's extended to be fully locked out and straight. And then you want to sink that hip forward into the front leg and then you drop the elbow down towards the floor. Really get that, that deep stretch in the hamstring and the groin area and then what you're going to do is rotate and you rotate your body into the knee that is bent and extend the arm. So you really get a good stretch and movement through your trunk area. And you can hold that. You could hold it for say three to five seconds and then switch back to the other side and just alternate back and forth. Number two is the deep squat with hamstring stretch. So you're in that deep squat position. The idea is that you wanna keep your chest up you wanna sit back into your heels and keep your back flat. This is a hard position for a lot of people if you don't have good ankle mobility. So a lot of people struggle to get into that deep squat position and not be in their toes. The idea is you wanna sit back on your heels. You may need to even stretch your calves a little before doing this movement. But what you're gonna do is sit in that deep squat position, pushing with your elbows against your knees to push your knees out and then you're going to place your hands on the floor and extend your hips up to the ceiling so you're straightening your legs. So basically you're doing deep squat with a hamstring stretch and you go alternating back and forth into those positions. You can hold them three to five seconds or you could go faster at a tempo. The third stretch is the lateral adductor stretch with reach rotation. So with this movement, one leg is bent, the other leg is fully extended, and you wanna sit back into that stretch. You're in a deep sort of lateral lunge position. You can place your elbows on the floor or your hands on the floor. So your upper body is bent forward to, towards the floor. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hand and weave it through your uh, arm that's on the floor. You're gonna reach and then you're gonna bring it back and rotate around. You'll see how I'm rotating and how I'm doing that. So you're getting hamstring stretch, groin stretch, you're getting a lot of trunk stretch as well, thoracic rotation movement. Number four is an alternating lunge, a deep alternating lunge. Simple movement, but it's one of my favorites because it really works on your legs and your glutes. So what you wanna do is focus on keeping your knee and your toe straight ahead on the leg that you are lunging into. So once your knee and toe are in line and straight ahead, you're gonna sit back into that hip and then take it as deep as you can to the floor with that one leg fully extended and you can turn that toe up to the ceiling and sit into that stretch. Number five, my final and favorite movement is going to be the bear crawl. Uh, what I want you to focus on with this bear crawl is you are holding your core in tight and you are pressing your chest into your back, so to speak. So as you are kneeling in that nice 90-90 position, 90 in the shoulders, 90 in the wrists, and 90 degrees in the hips, you want to think about pulling your rib cage into your back, your upper back, and keeping your abs pulled in and tight and activated. And then you're gonna take your steps, your crawls. You'll see how I do it. This is a really good movement to activate and work the core, as well as, you know, you're getting your wrists warmed up too. So a combination of all of these movements makes for a really awesome warm up. And if you wanna make them a little faster tempo, it can become even like a workout for some people. So that covers it for my five best warm up movements. Give them a try and let me know how they work for you. As always, thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, share this video with your friends, and I will see you guys soon.